Hi guys and girls on YouTube. I've got a very interesting little piece of history here to show you. Um, but unfortunately, I can't tell you anything about this. Because um, the guy who gave it to me, he died about eight years ago. Um, so you're either going to have to work it out for yourself. Or uh, hopefully, somebody who knows about it will leave it in the comments for everybody to see. Um, so what is it we're looking at in this video? Well, um, it's a signal generator. Um, if you look on the side, it's got the carrying handle, so it's portable. Uh, it's DC in because it's rechargeable. Um, there's a socket there, which I presume is for reprogramming. Two LEDs, one says power and one says charge. An on and off button. Uh, on the back it says RF out, aerial in. Um, there's two channels, either 35 or 37. Um, if you look on that side, there's four push buttons, what says channel selection, and um, as you can see it's portable. So if we turn it around to the front, this is the interesting part about it. Uh, it actually says on there, channel 5 broadcasting limited signal generator. Um, now channel 5 was launched in 1997, but in my town we never ever got channel 5. Um, because we were only on a relay transmitter the only way we could get channel 5 is on, on um, satellite so I've really no idea um, what the man who, who gave it me he had a TV shop um, but I've really no idea where he got it from or what use it was because this certainly wasn't any use in my town um, where he had his shop so um, yeah it's a very interesting little piece of history that Let's um, undo the screws, take the top off, um, I'll connect it to the, uh, I'll just pull this out of storage, um, a vintage Nikkei Baby 10 TV and uh, we'll get some power to it and uh, just see what it does. Right, well that's the lid off, as you can see it's got rechargeable batteries in, um, they're not going to be any good now because it's been stood here for um, about eight years uh, and this is the first time I've even looked at it um, there we have um, it looks it appears to be an EEPROM uh, that there appears to be a pre-programmed microcontroller um, a crystal a few other bits and uh, what appears to be um, an RF modulator that wouldn't look out of place on the back of a video recorder so um, I think the best thing to do is just unplug that. Um, I'll get some power to it. We'll connect it up to the Nikkei Baby 10 TV. And uh, let's just have a look what it actually does. Right, so there we are. I've just connected um, two wires to a bench power supply. Uh, that's the on and off button there. Uh, the green LED is lit up. Uh, bench power supply is drawing 150 milliamps. So we uh, Something's running in there. Let's get it connected to Italian. Tune it in then. Right, so it's connected to the TV. Um, we've got four buttons here. Uh, and it says channel 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the side. Um, I've already tuned all these into the TV. So let's run through them one by one, starting with number 1. That's 1. And um, if you can hear in the background, there's an audio tone. So we change channel on the TV, go the next one up. And then press the next button here. Uh, that's the next um, pattern it generates. Go to, the tel uh, go to the next one up again. And then press the next button on the unit. And uh, the fourth and final button so we just go up on the tally and press the fourth button yeah so uh, let's go back to number one and there you go it says uh, channel five test transmission preset number one UHF channel 37 So, uh, yeah, a very interesting piece of history. Um, I'm sure somebody can leave it in the comments. Uh, somebody's bound to recognise this and uh, 
obviously it was um, designed for probably before Channel 5 came out for some for some reason but uh, I'm sure somebody will know alright guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video goodbye